I am Jake Adams, and I'm back at you with another vlog update. I wanna thank everybody who's been so engaged with the channel. I, I, you know, I'm excited about this project and I never imagined the response from the Reef Aquarium community would be so great. And uh, man, it really just kind of fuels, you know, the video and the pace and the uh, motivation for doing this. So I'm gonna give you a couple of updates real quick, but then we're gonna to get to the main event because it's time for me to get some big tank action up in here. So you guys were totally digging on the Token Nano Reef Tank that I set up, uh, well, I think it's a week old now. It's a week old from the time I put the first hammer coral in there. And as you can see, the corals are looking absolutely excellent. Uh, just fully opened up. You know what, they're even more opened up now than they're at my house. Probably because it's just got fresh water and all the space in the world. So uh, now that the corals are really settling in, I have a lot of room to put some corals over on this side, over on this side. And I have a couple of zoanthids already on magnets that I think I'm gonna put uh, here on this back filter and on the back. And then for due diligence, I have set up a uh, token quarantine tank because any fish that I get from local fish store or other supplier is going to be quarantined. Um, I will revisit the how to quarantine simply topic, but right now the only thing this thing is missing is a heater, so it's hyposaline, so about 1.019 specific gravity, parts, uh, 25 25 parts per thousand salinity, just have a power filter in there, and this tank will get cycled. So if I get a fish, for, when I get a fish for this tank, um, I will be sure to bring you along uh, my whole process on starting a quarantine tank and cycling it. And uh, tomorrow I have a really neat fish that was uh, well quarantined by a great company that uh, is sending me a really cool fish, but we'll have to wait. We are gonna have to wait for that video to find out what it was that I got. But what I wanted to really focus on today is the coral flats. So I showed you the coral flats for the first time last week, and I've pretty much spent most of my time tediously sanding and repainting all the stands because I want everything to just be neat and clinical and near perfectly white. So these things have definitely gotten a, a little bit of a face lift. They're not the best lookers, but uh, now they look a little bit better. So um, one thing that's really interesting is I have a, a really cool opportunity uh, to do a, a sort of comparison, a comparison test between three different pump types. So we've got the uh, Aqua B Up 8000, rated for 8,000 liters of water per hour. The CJ Synchro SDC 7.0, which is rated for 7,000 liters per hour. And the Vectra S1. And this one tops out about 1,500 gallons per hour. But I have a Vectra M1 at home. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take the S1 over to my home tank, swap it out for the M1, and then we're gonna come back here and uh, plumb up the first coral flat, giving me 32 square feet of surface area for coral. So thanks everybody for tuning in. Let's go swap out that pump. Okay, so I'm back at my house. I got the Vectra S1, which wasn't available at the time that I set up this aquarium. So I started out with the M1. The M1's rated for 2,000 gallons per hour, but since this is the same body and the same uh, connectors, it should be really easy to hot swap this pump for that one. Unfortunately, the most tedious part is going to be um, undoing it for my uh, electrical management network over here, my whole cable management section. And, uh, but what's neat is since I have the flow meter right here, um, I'm gonna be able to dial it right back into the flow that it was. So I'm gonna open this up, take that pump off, and uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long. Thank you. 
long I've been procrastinating actually swapping out these pumps, but it was actually really, really fast. The connector was a slightly different size, but it was really easy to uh, hot swap it on. But um, one thing that you might notice that I noticed is that um, at the lowest setting, the M1 was actually pushing about uh, 900 liters of water per hour. And at the lowest setting, the S1 is a uh, quite a lot less. So I can easily dial up the flow on this one um, very similar flow speed to what it was before and this takes a moment to catch back up um, but yeah it's actually quite a much smaller body than the M1 you can see that's the clean one and uh, I've put this guy to some pretty good use so I'm definitely gonna take it apart and clean it up real good before I use it on the new system let's see what our flow speed is up to now oh, there we go 1035 liters per hour just right so as you know these are really smart pumps you can connect them to eco smart live and calibrate them for your tank uh, itself but since i'm more focused on working on the other system we're just going to leave that as is for now and uh, yeah tank looks really good it does not know that uh, there's a new pump on on there it's looking good but i haven't been really cleaning the glass very much because all my energy is focused on the new studio okay so now it's time to go to Home Depot, grab a few essential parts to made up that pump um, with the plumbing uh, of the coral flat. And hopefully by the end of the day, I will have a hundred, my first 175 gallons of coral reef flat water. One eternity later. All right, I've made it back to the studio. Man, what, uh, what a journey it was. I actually locked my keys in my car for the first time ever. Not just my keys, but my phone, mind you, so I couldn't even call a locksmith, yada yada. But the moral of the story is I have, I think, everything I need to finally put this tank together. So, I have my first fish delivery tomorrow, very special fish coming, and my first new display tank is coming tomorrow. And then on Friday, I have corals coming. So no matter what, no matter what it takes, I have to get this system running. So um, just to refresh from your memory, what I'm gonna do is there's not really gonna be a sump. I'm gonna use this backspace as a wet dry filter. I'm going to plug up these two drains right here, and I'm gonna drill this out um, to receive a larger bulkhead. And one thing I've decided to do is I'm gonna use a uniseal, just because I don't think it's necessary to have such a heavy bulkhead in between those two. So without further ado, I'm going to drink some beer, eat some cold pizza, and get this tank in shape. So uh, let's get started. It's alive, it's alive. Almost, kind of. I worked really hard and got really far in getting this tank um, going. I got it filled up. Um, and the pump setup that I put together is working really, really well. I just love how um, clean and tight that is. I just, I just wanted to proof the concept, but as you can see, um, the tank is absolutely not level. This front left corner is uh, actually quite low. So when I turn the pump on, it actually overflows right here, as you can see on the ground, um, before it flows back up into here. So, you know, this is just the kind of uh, testing that um, I expected, which is why I'm working on one tank first. But uh, man, now that I can get this video uh, mostly out there and you guys can see how haggard I look after working on this tank for a while, cleaning it up. Man, it takes a long time to clean up used tanks. I hope like, there's more new tanks in my future. Um, but that's okay, that's okay, because the only thing that needs to happen now, I just need to level the, the, the tank, uh, salt it up, put a skimmer in there, put a heater in there, and uh, I think it'll be ready for my first shipment of corals coming on Friday. And I'll bring a few corals from home. So that's all I got for you guys today. Man, it's been a, a crazy fun adventure of a day today. Um, I'm really glad you guys are coming along for the ride. Um, 
so far it's just a lot of build out, but I promise there's a lot of livestock on the way, a lot of displays on the way. Look at all this room. Look at that room. We still have all this room. We're just barely getting started here at the Reef Builder Studio. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. If you casually like aquariums, definitely subscribe, comment. Um, comment telling you what you think. Uh, this is actually the first video I'm using the wireless mic. I believe the audio should be like.